Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of A Hermit the Skies. Hello, hello, I'm doing F5 moment. Hey, what's up? My name is Iskal, and this is Hermit Skies. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta gold chest play. Anyway, dudes, <laughs> I've been busy since last time. I'm actually recording back to back to back to back, having so much fun uh, playing Project Ozone. But I've been busy creating or finishing up a lot of the quests. So today we'll start off by opening a lot of uh, opening a lot of bags. Uh, I think I'm ready to craft one of these guys as well. The Photo Vault Excel. How much power does this make? 10 RF per tick. It's super expensive and it makes 10 RF per tick. That sucks. Uh, I also made all the alloys, so the dark, the vibrant, the energetic, the solarium, the pulsating. I also made this thing a real capacitor bank, an upgrade one. So we're going to go ahead and switch this out. And this will actually show us our power income for a second. We are getting 602 RF per tick with the, uh, with the machines running, or with certain machines running, with the gravel maker make, uh, running that we made last time. This guy can, can store 50 million? <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Uh, so that will be enough for a while. 25,000, is it 50 million? It is 50 million. Anyway, let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put away all of these things first. And then we'll claim all the uh, all the quest eyes. There we go, beautiful. Okay, so let's start claiming. And hopefully we get... I'm hoping to get like a head start in, in Applied Energistics. That's what I really want to get. I've been looking into what it takes to... Uh, to do applied logistics in this pack, and we actually need to go through the uh, the agricraft or mystical agriculture first. So we need to plant stuff uh, down. So maybe we'll do that today, but it all depends on whatever we get in these loot chests. Loads of them. Seven. Okay, here we go. Number one, a zombie charm. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, number two, epic bacon. God dang it, we don't need we don't need no bacon. We got our apple sauce. Next one, number three. Ooh, this is a good reward. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is really good. So these are for the uh, solar panels from the other mod, Solar Flux Reborn. And although we don't need it for power generation per se at the moment, I think there is a quest for it under Generation Revolution. Yeah, so we need to make that. We need to make all of these, and that's really going to help us. So maybe we'll do that next and get some more, get some more of it. Rendog just earned achievement diamonds. Uh, number four. Yes! 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 That's what I wanted to see. Uh, that's what I wanted to see. 64k storage drives. These are super, super expensive. Very nice. Okay, next. A spider charm. Do we have every single charm in the game? It feels like it. Uh, next one. Zenite Furnace. A legendary reward. Ooh, I think we just got something really good that I have no idea what it is. It's required to make a mob grinder. Okay. And to make one of these. Oh, yeah, baby. Furnace overhaul mod. It's... Okay, we do have the diamond, if you guys remember. We do have the diamond. But this looks to be like the top furni. I wonder if... I wonder how quick it is. Let's put it on our grid here. That's a red border. <laughs> That's interesting. Let me grab a, uh, a little bit of fuel. And let's try and smelt something up. Uh, I don't know what to smelt. Let's smelt up some of this gold. Wow. Okay. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> That's insane. Hold on. Let me smelt up some sand. Some sand. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's without upgrades. That's a quick fern eye. I like that reward. That's that's a fan freaking tastic reward. Holy crap. Last one. Fluid display. Garbage. Garbageio. That's uh that's some good rewards though. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, I think the uh, next thing I want to do then is to look into these uh, generate uh, generators. Um, and that quest chain. So, number one, we need uh, wood and this thing. And this thing you make by... Oops. This thing you make by taking glass and iron. Okay, so that's not very impressive, the level level one. But we got it for free. So, redstone. I may, I may run out of redstone. That's a thing that I would love to fix today, actually. Redstone production. Um, which we may be able to do if we do the plants. But there we go. That's number one. Let's see how far we can get. Solar area, area two is... Nine, look at that. Eight of those and a piston. It scales so weirdly. Holy crap. We can't even make that. We can make three with the reward that we got. And now we need a crap ton of glass and iron. Which, you know, we have. We can probably... Uh, we can definitely make the second tier of these as well. But it's 
gonna be expensive very quickly. Why? Hmm. <coughs> Photovoltaic cells. Okay, so we need them when we come up to this. Okay, so it's only the second one. But look at this to make the third one, which generates 32 RF per tick. Not even, not even half of one one of these generators. To get that, we need. <laughs> We need... Oh my god. Okay, we'll make one of these. Just because I don't want to use these either. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna try and focus on, on getting ahead with these. Uh, I'm gonna need more iron than that. Boom. Solar area number two. This generates 16 RF per tick. It does generate it at all times though. Uh, as long as the, it has sunlight. So I mean... It's not terrible. But it's just like... <laughs> it's not very great for the cost. Holy crap. Why is... Oh, it's just taking the time. Taking its sweet time to fill up. Okay, so let's uh, let's just store these away. We'll see if we uh, we'll probably do the quest chain later when we have infinite resources and stuff. But for now, uh, two loot chests is uh, good enough. It's just like a big crafting crafting grid, a metallurgic infuser to get eulorium. Ooh, that's a thing that we could do as well. Okay. Anyway, we got two of these bad boys to open. So here we go. One industrial grade graphite door. Again, I don't really know what that is for, but we've got it before and. Superheating element. Oh, this is good. Okay, this is it. This is good. Not that we need it right now, but check this out. Check this out. If I were to break down here, break that little flame thing, and you know what? I'd actually wouldn't want to risk this thing, so I possibly want to water elevate down to show you guys this. Uh, yes, let's uh, let's water vate. Let's water vate. That fern eye though, that was insane. Insanity. Zenith Zenite Fernice. Fernice. Zenites Vernites. Um how do I do this? If I do okay, you know what? If I do that, is that gonna is that gonna, yeah 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 yeah. Okay, so let's just crap, I didn't bring any uh, Yeah, I didn't bring any blocks. <laughs> Hold on. I I I can do this. I yeah, okay, we'll do that. And I, I'm gonna need one more block. I got a netherrack piece on me. <gasps> Please don't murder me, game. Okay, there we go. Then take that away. Yeah. So I can show this by doing the following. Let's put the superheating element. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I didn't need to do this. <sighs> and I had glass on me as well. Okay, I need to put this guy there. Now check this out, dudes. Look at that. 120. This is smelting up lava at a rate of 120, whereas this is four. <laughs> so, like, one of these would replace all of this right now. Something like that. That's pretty insane. Uh, so, that's a cool reward. We uh, we can probably use it for some other stuff as well. Carbon. Now, jetpack. I want to make myself a jetpack. That's not very great. It runs out of power super quick, but jetpack, I think you have to spell it like that. Yes. Um... This thing here, it runs out of power super quick. It's not very great. I make it, I, I have it in my stream world. Um, but it is something that we can make because it's just carbon. And carbon is just coal. And also, we have a crap ton of carbon and we have a crap ton of uh, carbide horses. These these things here, three of them. So <clears throat> that's the next on the agenda. I'm going to make a carbon jetpack. That way we can fly around um, when we need to. Like I said, this is not a very reliable jetpack because it only has 400,000 RF as a buffer. Um, it looks like you can upgrade that later, but, um, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a process until we get there. So we'll make this, we'll smelt down some of that and, uh, um, that way we can at least fly. How many is it that I get? Wow. One block for, one and a half block for three of those armors, armies. Insane. Absolutely insane. Oh, wait a minute. No. We can't break this down to block, uh, to ingots. Are you kidding me? Um, ooh, that's an interesting recipe. We can't break it down to ingots. Hold on. Is there a trick to this? I got an idea. Can I put this guy in here? Nope. Okay, so we should not cast these as blocks. I mean, I could probably re-smelt them. But we should not cast them as blocks. That's that's very strange. Why would they have uh, disabled that recipe? I guess you can probably obtain these from another... Uh, in another way. Or or they don't want you to be able to put ingots together to make a block, possibly. Um, but okay. I, I'm pretty sure we could smelt these down again. Maybe I should just try that, so I'm sure. Yeah. 
We could smelt them down again, and that way we can cast ingots. Um, <laughs> well, that kind of sucks, though. <laughs> oh, it's going to take a little bit longer to do then. That's fine. First piece I need is this thing, the cardboard harness. And then I need two of those thrusters. And I think I got, yeah, I have some blaze, uh, blaze powder. A blaze powder. And they are three each. So, boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, and boom. Two thrusters. And then we need two, uh, four ingots. Okay, fine, fine. We got, we got more than we need here. And carbon jetpack. Very nice. And we can chuck that in here. Chuck that in here and it will charge up. But like I said, even though uh, it's nice to have a jetpack, it runs out so quickly. So, um... <laughs> you gotta be super careful. I almost killed myself a few times already using this thing. Is that 4 million or is it 400,000? I think it's 400,000. Uh, I wonder, there is a battery from the same mod, from the password thing. Um, but they are also just 400. Um, um, unless we do the emerald infused one, which is emerald bits around a diamond carbon rod, which is a gold carbon. Jesus. 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 Wow, okay. And that's how much? 16 million or 1.6 uh, 1. million that looks like it's uh, 16 million Applicable upgrade for armor um, What about the energy tablets from that's also just 400,000? Yeah, because if we have a battery the, the the thing is that we can use the battery then to uh, to keep us us charged uh, I gotta equip it with my chest plate. I suppose yeah and it gives us creative flight as well and negates all the fall damage so <clears throat> let's try and maybe work our way towards this battery i mean it's not super expensive but we're gonna need uh, redstone regardless so i'm gonna go to the nether now that i have flight actually how much redstone have we got from the mob farm seven <laughs> not the greatest i'm still not chunk loading anything so uh, i know some other hermits are just a little bit uh, garbaccio they shouldn't it should be equal for all that's just me uh but uh, yeah, I I should uh, I should I should uh, I should be able to find some redstone now that I can fly. Hello there, guy. Will I get your skull? No. Twenty four redstone ore. Uh, we really need to get into producing redstone. <laughs> this is getting so frustrating. <laughs> we have to uh, to mine it out in the Nether. Even though like I kind of enjoy my little Nether trips, but uh, yeah, and also let's use this. <laughs> That is so insane. We got Fortune 3, so this is better than pulverizing it. Uh, <laughs> insanity. Insanity for an eye, that, that thing right there. Holy crap. Kind of want that in full craft now. Um, but yeah, there we go. So now we got some redstone. So let's try and uh, let's try and, uh, let's try and craft up uh, this, uh, this uh, emerald thing. And we're going to need... We're going to need a carbon rod to begin with, so... That's three of these, and I need also to craft a, a regular battery. Um, there's a lot of steps to this, but I think we'll be fine. Regular battery, boom. And can we just, yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at those tiny emeralds. <laughs> They're adorable. I feel like a giant. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's click this through uh, slower so we can actually see what we need to do. We need to create a carbon rod, and then redstone was the first thing. So, okay do that carbon rod looks disgusting with redstone around it and then the next layer i mean this is not this is not very expensive oh we actually need two of them in the final thing yeah okay whoo good that i saw that let's make uh, let's make both of them at the same time i wonder why the emerald emerald one is so easy to make <laughs> like that's the cheapest one but there we go very fine and then was it just this or did i need no emerald infused battery 16 million rf very very nice so now put that in here and yeah that's gonna that's gonna take some time to charge up that will basically charge our jetpack in our inventory i think we're gonna try that out once this is filled up but it's gonna take some time charges armor plus inventory items 16 times ender io cap with full charge okay not sure what that means but uh applicable upgrade for armor can we like put this in something Energic. um oh yeah we can we can. Emerald infused carbon helmet. Emerald infused chest plate. This is is this like the best armor in the game? Yeah, you need uh you need a carbon helm, which is a premium, which is supremium, which is interdium, prudium, diamond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the 
That's the long-term goal, obviously. But for now, that's going to make our jetpack very useful. Uh, without that, I, th I think the jetpack is pretty garbaccio. Let's wait for that to charge up. I wonder why they made the battery so easy to make in comparison to how powerful it is. Okay, so if I shift right click that, that will be active. And it is charging. It is a charging in my jetpack. Very nice. And we should be able to just have it somewhere in our inventory. Yeah. So basically, we just extended the, the jetpack's uh, power bank <laughs> to 16 million. Which is uh, gonna last us for a while. We don't actually use the jetpack, by the way, if we uh, if we don't fly. Like, if I just run... Yeah, that's 4800. Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't use it. So it's only when I fly we use the power. Very nice. We got creative flight. We got creative flight. Next thing I want to do, watering can. Boom. Why? Well, because that's the start of this uh, quest chain right here. Boom, boom. For uh, this is what we need to do in order to uh, like uh, get into applied energistics. So we may just as well start it. Claim that as well. We got that for free. These you get in the Nether or from mobs. I don't I don't really know actually. <laughs> um. We'll just see how far we can get here with all of these quests. Base mystical ingot. Base mystical or mystical ingot. Me ingot. Freaking. Uh, hold on. What is it actually called? Essence ingot. Essence ingot. It's a mana or mithril. Hmm. I don't think we have that actually. Do we have mithril or, or mana infused? Lead. Cobalt. This is mana steel. That's not the same thing. I don't think we have that. I think we can probably sift it. Or is platinum going to give us that? Maybe we can find it in the nether. I'm not sure. That's that's quite interesting. I wonder if uh, if this is the same platinum. Because I know we can find this in the nether. Let's just try one. Uh, oops. Where is, my, uh, where is my bucket, sir? Where is my bucket? Try this. Platinum ingot. Is that gonna allow us to to do the uh, the uh, <clears throat> the ingot let's try it out no okay so that that's not or dictionary how do we get this then mana infused we'll probably be able to find this in the in the nether okay so we can definitely sift to get it mithril is what it's called when we sift if I search mithril it doesn't actually come up as a nether one but if I search uh, Mana infused. If I search copper, it does come up as another one. So maybe they don't exist here. I mean, that would make sense as, as to why I haven't yet found them. There, there's the prosperity, by the way. And I bet you we're going to need a bunch of these as well. Um, yeah, because I can't find any in here. I can't find any. So maybe, uh, maybe we'll have to sift again. Oh, I will not sift, I've said to you guys. I feel like I'm not a man of my word if I now sift. Well, because maybe I was misinformed though. Maybe I was misinformed. Oh, we got to sift across netherrack. Ah, that, that is why I've not got it. Can we get it? Is it more chance? It's the highest chance is actually from iron. Look at that. Drop chance 20% and diamond is only 9%. That's so weird. You get a crap ton of gold from doing this. And remember, th these are ores, so I could double them. I'm not gonna, though, because <laughs> I want to use my third eye. But yeah, I think it was a 100% chance to uh, to get gold. So one, one, uh, one fourth of a gold per crushed netherrack you collect. Pretty insane. There's the mithril ones, though. And I'm just gonna, just gonna turn all of this. Iridium as well. That's another one that we can find in the nether, though. And what was this blue one? Cobalt? Yeah, cobalt. Okay. Okay, so back to the quest. One mithril and surrounded with that. Boom, base essence ingot. Looks like a, I want to eat this. Looks like ice cream. Looks fantastically good and delicious. Claim that. And, okay, so there are lots of different things. The reason... Oh, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> I wanted this thing here. The base mystical crafting seeds. Base mystical... Uh, mystical crafting seed. What is this? It's just a regular seed with the prosperity charts. Do I have seeds? I don't think I have seeds. Can I make them using, uh, uh, using, uh, no, I have to sift dirt <laughs> through string. Are you kidding me? Can I, can I not get it any other way? I need, I need string. I don't, I don't, hmm. I don't have any string anymore. You know what? We may be able to shortcut our way here because we have emeralds. And if I can create a market, we could just buy it instead. You know me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to sift. 
We need wool for that though, which I need string for. And I don't have string! Oh yeah, I do have. I do have enough to make one piece. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Calm down, Iskal. We can do this. Market. Mar market. Uh, okay. Does it need to be a freaking red piece of wool? Are you kidding me? Oh no, I don't have enough planks. That's why the automatic uh, thing didn't work. Uh, no, it needs to be a red wool. Uh, mushroom, please stain on this wool. <laughs> Crap. Okay, so I <laughs> guess what that means is we're, we're back to basic today, ladies and gentlemen. We're so back to basic. I don't even have dirt production, so <laughs> this is this is a little bit scary. I mean, I could easily make dirt, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that if I don't have to. Did I get it? I got a seed. Okay. I heard that Rendog used these old uh, stone and andesite and dire pebbles and stuff to make <laughs> to make. Uh... Oh, he's so freaking cute. He's so blading cute, as Stress Monster would say. Uh, I heard he used them to make cobblestone. <laughs> In this pack, where you can make cobblestone out of anything, uh, or of just punching dirt. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I just thought about that now. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Shut up, Eskal. Shut up. Oh, okay. So what was we doing? Uh, we needed this to make this. I'm gonna save these seeds. I know we need more of these uh, base crafting seeds, but I'm gonna save the seeds so that we can populate them as into wheat. Uh, so let's complete that as well. And I guess we could just go down to the next one immediately, hopefully. We do have enough to make maybe even the tier tier 2 seeds. Uh, the tier 2, what is, what is the tier 2? We need the Prudentium. Okay, so we need an infusion crystal first, which is one diamond uh, and some of the other, other stuff. Uh, poop, 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 boom. I think that's a quest as well. Hopefully. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Let's claim this guy. Let's claim this guy. And uh, maybe we don't have enough actually to make the next. We'll see. We take that. We put these around. We need four of these. Boom. And then we take that and surround this seed. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I accidentally opened one. We got seven icosahedrons. Seven icosahedrons uh, from that one. We need to we need to dedicate an episode just opening disco balls on top of the nether <laughs> eventually. <laughs> can see how many we can get until then. Um, okay, so the next one, I don't think we have enough uh, of the Inferium of. We need uh, 64 to complete this. I mean, that should be easy to collect. Uh, nether is the best resource if you don't have a good mob farm, which we do. Well, it's not super good, but it's a little bit good. Uh, so we can get that as well. And we could get 32 Prudentium, maybe? Or do I want to keep upgrading this? Yeah, I think I want to keep upgrading. Keep, up, keep upgrading. Um, you know what? If I have enough, we may just as well. I don't know how much I have here. Oh, we do. We do. We do, definitely. My mob farm has been producing. I think every mob every mob in the game is programmed to drop this, uh, this essence stuff when you have this mod installed. It's quite... Quite something you come over a lot, but it's also needed in so much. Let's claim that. We are pounding through, pun, pounding through quests. Inferium apple, can we make that as well? Is that just a an apple uh, surrounding, surrounded by these? No. Oh, okay. Maybe I should just look at the at the recipe. Oops. Um. Inferium apple. Oh, it's even easier. Okay. Well. You know, hey, you know, oops. This is this is uh, this is something I recommend you doing all of these quests because it's super easy so far. And we're getting a lot of books, uh, a lot of uh, chests. I mean, make the next one, claim that. Uh, okay, so now we're at tier three here. Let's make the ingot as well. Is that just this ingot surrounded by this? I wonder. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm a genius. I'm a freaking genius. Next one. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I like when things are easy. I like it. Could even make the watering can maybe as well. Let's try and upgrade, uh, upgrade that. Like I say, I mean, this this quest pack, this mod pack has done what I always think is the best way of doing a quest pack. Make sure that people will want the rewards, right? 
Uh, make sure that people want these loot chests, and I do want them. Because I've played so many packs where it's just, uh, like, useless. Oh, this ain't as easy. We need a theoretical water source. Okay, so we need to start growing things to get the, to get these up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see how it is. Um, let's see if we can make tier 3, though. I think it's the same crystal, so we should be able to. One, two, three, four. Yes. And how many of them do we need to complete the quest, by the way? Uh, we need 16. Let's try it. Because the tier 3 seeds are like redstone and stuff. So that's that's where it is. Uh, that's that's what I want to do anyway. Ah, crap. We're not going to be able to do this. I ran out in the mob farm. Dang it. Thought I had more. But I didn't. So we're going to be able to get 13. Okay. Well, never mind that. Let's upgrade the uh, let's upgrade the seed. I may go to the nether and collect a few more of these if we need them. Um, but we'll see. We, we did complete this instead. So that's fine. Um, Inferior Inferni. Okay. Uh, anyway, we got we got too many of these to open now. So before this gets way out of hands, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. These apples, by the way, are like uh, super potions. So they like golden apples by better absorption two and speed two. Should be good to know. And I think I want to dedicate a chest if I have one, which I don't have. Uh, oh, I do. Yeah, I want to dedicate a chest to this uh, to this mod. Just because uh, <clears throat> I know how how how, fr how frequent we have to come back, come back to all the all the different things in there as well when we do the mod. Uh, but let's pop uh, a crap ton of these again, shall we? One skeleton charm. God dang it! Oh, this is good. This is good. Energy conduits. Yes, sixteen of them. Uh, lithium dust. Not sure if that's good. More epic bacon. Uh, capacitors. I'll take those. We need those. Uh, more of those solar panels. That wasn't as good as I thought it was. Nature cores. Um, another charm. As long as we don't get the charms, I'm kind of happy. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Ultra rare reward. Look at this. This is good. And we just got a quest update with that as well. <laughs> because we, need, we have a quest where we need to collect them. More capacitors. And oh, yeah, baby. You see, like I said, this quest mod maker... Uh, and this is why I've always loved Project Ozone. He makes the he makes you want to complete the quest because it's just too powerful not to do it. I don't even know what that skeletal contractor is. I've not I've not seen that before. Um, let's put this garbage away. Put the lithium dust in there and the nature core and that. And let's have a look what quest we completed there. Uh, under Endless a Revolution, I'm sure. Uh, no. What the crap? Is it in here? Uh... We did complete a quest, right? It's not just me going crazy. It said that we completed a quest. Oh, it's probably this one and we can't claim it yet because we need the slice and spice. Okay, so good to know that it pre it pre-claims the quests. The pre-claims the quest, yeah, yeah, because it wants us to craft these things up. We got eight of this now. Insane. I'd really, really like to get some Emmy stuff though, uh, apart from just the just the things. Speaking about which, if we go to Energistics. Uh, the first the first thing that we need to do is the uh, presses that you normally find in a world, but here we'll have to craft them. And to craft them, I looked at this earlier, we need Surtus Quartz Essence, uh, which is what you get from uh, which is what you get from from farm from mystical agricraft. These are tier three Surtus Quartz seeds, which you makes by which you make by the stuff that we just made. So that's why I went down the route of the mystical agriculture. We kinda need to start uh, crafting up the seeds and stuff. Um for this, but to get there, to get all the seeds, we do need that green Imperial Essence. So I think I want to spend like a 20, good 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes in the nether. Um, just collect as much of this as I can. Ideally, I would just get it from a mob farm. And you know what? We should really, hmm. There is another thing we could do instead. That would be to start to, to, to fix this mob farm. That may actually be better, more useful time. To make a loot bag opener and to upgrade all of these so that we void stuff that we don't use. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Let's, we, we've done enough quests today. Let's do that because that's going to generate so much resources as well. Uh, and now we should have the infrastructure enough to do it. Uh, I'm going to start by cutting down some more trees. We're going to need more more uh, storage barrels. Um, and <clears throat> then we're going to need that loot bag opener. We should have done that, this immediately. If you do a mob farm, this should be your first step, okay? Iskal said so, mommy. Iskal said so. 
Ah, I'm a stupid idiot. Alright, I've crafted up this stuff that I think we're gonna need. Uh, <clears throat> I did actually spend some time and make some item conduits for this uh, project because it's gonna be so much more helpful. Also, I realized that up here, mobs have been spawning, so I lit that up. But a creeper fell down on me, um, and uh, yeah, bad things happened. Bad things happened, but anyway. I've crafted up some void upgrades, I've crafted up some storage upgrades. Um, we may, I may want to do a, one more stack. Do I have more gold? I do. Not a lot though. Do I have any gold in here? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, gold is fairly easy to get if you sift it. Um, yeah. Yeah, why not? Let's just, let's just make, uh, I also had to make some dirt. <laughs> because, uh, oh, yeah. Chopping down three, uh, trees with the amount of uh, space I had over there wasn't enough. So I made like a path. And uh, then it went much quicker. But yeah, I've also upgraded the amount of uh, space here. So the objective here, this is actually quite complex. Uh, but once we get this right, it's going to be so beneficial. First of all, we want to make sure we get rid of all the junk that we don't want to use. Like, for example, the helmets, the bows, the, the pants. Uh, I mean, the helmets could be fairly good in this pack because you can't really craft them yourself. Look at that. They're, that's actually like better than the iron one. Um... But it's just going to be too much of a bother to like go through all of these and check them out and all of that stuff. So we're just going to get rid of all of that junk. And then my dog scared the life out of me, starting to bark. Whew, where were I? <laughs> That's stage number one. Stage number two is uh, to open all the loot bags. And for that, we got the bag opener and we're going to hook that up. I've also extended the platform underneath. I don't understand why Enderman keeps spawning in here, though. Or if they teleport, maybe. I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. It's just the after effect sound. Um, so yeah, that uh, is the task at hand. To do this, like I said, we're going to use these item conduits. So we're going to switch this out and pull an item conduit underneath uh, in the same fashion. And the reason we're going to use an item conduit here is because I think they're a little bit quicker. But also, we need this side here to have an insert and extract on the same block. I think I've got everything uh, sorted out here. It took me a good hour or so, uh, but totally worth it. Look at this, by the way. Lava charm. I think, although I'm not sure, I think this gives us protect. Yeah, look at that. Look at above our armor here. Does that give us protection from lava or fire or... <laughs> Let's try it out, I guess. We can jump into fire. Um, what's the easiest way to do this? Hold on. Let me get a... Let me get one of these. Boom. Yeah. I mean, we're not immune to it, but we certainly take less damage, it would seem. Uh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's the truth. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. We used up half of our battery today. But uh, anyway, dudes, I'm sorry if this video is super long. I saw now that I had like uh, two hours and 40 minutes of me talking footage. So I'm going to have to cut out a lot. Um, but this is the way I did this. So uh, we, got the, we got the items coming out here. They go up here. They go into this if there are if they are loot bags. Actually, what? Why is that brown? Oh yeah, no. Uh, everything goes into into the drawer controller. But before it goes into the drawer controller, it makes it way down here uh, because I raised the priority of these guys. And these are whitelist, so they will only check for they will only grab the items in the whitelist. Uh, and I'm throwing away as much of the junk as possible. I'm sure we'll have to add to this filter. So first it goes there. If it's any of the junk items, it will throw it away. The second uh, stop is the drawer controller, and then from the drawer controller, um, using this filter, we are sucking out the loot bags. They're being sucked into the loot bag opener by the brown channel, as you can see there. Uh, and then they're being sent out again, uh, always active. They're being sent out again back to this same line. So if it's junk, it will first go to the trash cans here. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then if it's not junk, it will go back up to the drawer controller. And I've organized and tried to... Try to make sure that we keep the items that are important to us. Like, for example, obsidian. Yeah, this thing makes obsidian. Large quantities of it. And at the moment, we are out of uh, <coughs> out of the loot bags here. So, um, it's not opening anything. But I think uh, I think we got everything sorted. It actually produces gold and redstone and iron and lapai and green diamonds, emeralds. So, uh, a really good resource for, for stuff. Don't know what these are again. I think I, I showed these in the last cutscene, if I don't cut it away. Maybe these are like you can capture mobs in them. I don't know, but we get them from this as well. But uh, anyway, 
Dudes, ladies and gentlemen, kids and old people. <laughs> Sorry, let's not make this about age. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Have a fan freaking fantastic evening and I'll see you in the next episode.